It's been the first day of classes at Edinburgh University, but campus is looking pretty empty this year. Chelsea Swift joins us in studio after visiting the borough and speaking to students who are taking some classes in person. Not many, though. Chelsea? Hi, Sean. Faculty and students at Edinburgh are staying are saying campus feels really different this year. Those who are able to meet in person for classes say it's necessary to have that hands-on learning experience. Edinburgh University would normally be bustling with students on the first day of classes, but today the campus is practically empty. So I'm so sad, like no one's here. It's a ghost town. With less than 200 students living in the dorms and most of the university's classes taking place online, one Edinburgh art professor says she's glad she's one of the few who is able to facilitate face-to-face -face instruction. As, as much as I think we're all a little nervous getting together like this, it's great to see them in person and to be able to be back in the studio teaching them face-to-face -face rather than via Zoom like we have been for the last few months. Um, it does seem like it's mostly art students and any students that have that experiential component to their classes are here on campus. So and one art student agrees, saying it's difficult to have art classes online. They require in-person learning. I feel like I'm being deprived of an of a important and serious education. So when they're online, I'm not getting the hands-on training that I need in order to do what I want to do with my life. One student at Edinburgh University saying she's grateful the administration made the decision to allow students to pursue their degree online and for some programs to have in-person classes. I mean, it's definitely like really great that I can have the option to do it online and I have like the resources from the university to like still get a good education. Another class that's meeting in person is a simulation net lab for nursing students. The class meeting outdoors so students can stay socially distanced and practice preparing for different scenarios, including live births and drug overdoses. Sean? Chelsea Swift reporting. Thank you, Chelsea.